Ronald Sebulime was arrested in Agoje village, Mukono district, by police officers after he was accused of trailing state minister Aida Nantawa. Minutes later, he was shot dead. The story has made headlines for days. Tweak, police issued summons to Nantawa to record a statement about the incident, which she first reported at Nagalama police station. Police also said they had discovered that Sebulime had been wrongly killed by their officers. However, police investigations hit a snag when Nantaba wrote back, saying she had instructions from the president not to leave her home, and as such, she was unable to report to the criminal investigations and intelligence directorate as summoned. Police then sought guidance of the Minister of Internal Affairs. Well, our reading is a little bit different, and uh, we think the president necessarily was not saying she should not be interviewed. The president was merely saying, since you reported a security matter against you, be careful. Take care of your security. And for the time being, if you feel like, remain at home until we secure you. That has nothing to do with the investigations, because it is critical. Not as a suspect. I asked the minister about what guidance he has given to the police on their request. Our guidance to the police is that we will find one or another for you to, inv to interview Nantaba and at some stage we know she will cooperate. It's not the first time that we've had people use the president's name or other people in high authority to shield themselves. Don't you think uh, the minister refusing to report to police for investigation or for interrogation or to record a statement is one or the other a kind of impunity? No, no, no. She's been careful. So it will be impunity at the end when she says, I'm not coming. <laughs> she has not said that. There have been reports that Sebulime's family has been threatened by unknown people who want them to back off the matter. My appeal to the family is they should not have any worry. If there is anybody who is threatening them, it is up to them to ensure that they, they are able to cooperate with the police. And the police will provide them security. When are you likely to compensate the family because, you know, this man had children and they need to go to school? There are many issues which are not tied in this matter. So you cannot jump to compensation when you have not tied all these knots and known who is responsible who is not. The minister also warned the police against misuse of authority. It's totally unacceptable for a, a force that is meant to keep law and order. Meanwhile, members of parliament have their views on the matter. If you are summoned to police to make a statement and you don't honor the summons, you're actually committing an offense. It would even be very, very easy for the police, if at all they are interested in this matter, to drive to Nantabazi place with CID officers and record the statements from there. For me, I've ever recorded the statement in the hospital. We should also encourage... Uh, uh, our leaders to, to respect the due process of the law. According to Biga Kania, the officer who alleged to have shot Seblimi has been subjected to a mental examination. Sudilbi Aruhanga, NTV.